in a row, which is strange for me. I'm in the car just now, we're on our way to Brayhead. Sorry if the camera's shaking, but I'm in the car. <laughs> and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping first, and then the doors open for Disney On Ice at half past five. So, I kind of regretted not filming earlier. I've been in the car now for about, I don't know, half an hour, but literally about five minutes past there. Three police motorbikes went by, then two police cars, then a CGI van, GIS, GIS <laughs> and then two police cars behind it. And my mum said it's because it was like a prisoner or something on it, and, and I was like, it must have been a serious dude then to have all those police. Although, she did leave the house with them on and she had a heart attack. <laughs> I don't know why I would wear these all the time if it was socially acceptable. And I'm wearing, you probably can't really see it and I don't want to zoom in, but little starfish and she shell earrings to go with my ears. And I'm wearing my Mickey hoodie as well and, I don't know if you can see them, my Mickey shoes as well, so I am officially all Disney. Oh, and my bag. So not one bit of me is not Disney. Well, my jeans aren't Disney, but I think that's the only thing I don't own that's Disney. Because I also have, oh, it's been all dark. This bracelet as well I got from Disney. So dedicated to Disney much. And here's the arena! Oh! Soar! Why is it called Soar? Like Soarin'. The ride mm -hmm. at Disney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just wanted to suss out where the arena was first and then we can Tony go macaroni. shopping! Tony Macaroni. I just want to go and check first. If you don't mind, I'm going to run over myself and find out, okay? That's fine. You're not going to pop your ears on and run over? No, no. How not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm it, <laughs> Mum's just going to the arena just now and finding out that we're in the right place and everything. Because I don't think we've ever been here, and if we have been here, it was a long time ago. Like, I don't ever remember being here. But, like I said, the doors don't open till half five, and the show doesn't start till half six, and it's like, what? Half two, three o'clock. It's probably later than that. I haven't looked at the time in ages. It's probably about half three, closer to by this point. She just wants to make sure so that we're not running uh, late at the last minute and like to be super organised. Me and my mum do. So I'm just hanging in the car waiting for her to come back. She'll only be two seconds probably. And on a completely other note, my phone case is in. Um, kind of Disney. You can probably tell I'm totally dedicated to Disney but you guys already knew that. Like this this, this was a happy accident right here. But I want, if there's one goal I have in life it's to let everyone know that Disney is my soul. We were in the wrong place, weren't we mother? Oh yes. <laughs> so we're just tired. I'll get there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going straight across. There was a big place we went to before. No, no, straight across here it is. Is it not the big place with no, the giant Marks and Spencer? No, it's straight across here next to Premark. She knows what I've she's doing. Oh, Premark! We should go in there and see if we can find some Disney stuff. <laughs> Parking for. Hi guys, I don't know if you can hear me because I'm on pizza and it's kind of loud. Sorry, I haven't vlogged in ages. It's like half four, quarter to five. We did a lot of shopping and I'm sorry I didn't vlog it for you guys but I had my cane with me and when I had my cane it's kind of hard to vlog with a cane so I didn't but I bought a whole bunch of stuff and it's pre a whole bunch of stuff and I went to Lush Thank you I went to Lush and a Yankee Candle store so I'm 
in my element. We're in Pizza Hut just now and we're just going to get some food and then after that we're going to go into the arena. I'm hoping that there was like a little stall out there and it had some Disney and Ice merchandise on it but there wasn't really that great a selection so I'm hoping they might have something inside that's better like because they never had any tops or hoodies or anything so let's hope there's something in better.
back home now in in my jammies with my cup of tea and my mini mug. That's a good cup of tea. <laughs> the show was great. It was really, really good. What I liked about it was I was not expecting um, Finding Nemo to be presented because usually with these kind of Disney on ice shows they usually show more of the classic Disney like princesses and they don't really show anything Pixar and they had Finding Nemo and Toy Story which I thought was great <coughs> and I also loved how they had Milan, Milan? I always say that weird, Mulan as well only criticism with the show was they spent way too much time on the Frozen story. Way too much time. I I honestly think Frozen is overrated and when Disney shows do things like that, it's like, please, we know the story of Frozen. Like, they could have done... The amount of time they took to tell the Frozen story, they could have put another story in there, like... The Little Mermaid. <laughs> but... That was my only complaint with the show as a whole. We had amazing seats, it was great. My only other complaint was not with the show, the show was great. My only other complaint was the atmosphere. Now the show and the company cannot control the atmosphere. It's the parents. There, You can imagine there was a lot of kids there and the, ki the, the kids are great. The kids are amazing. I love the kids but the parents just don't give a rat's backside. They just sit there and like, oh, we're just bringing your wins to Disney on Ice, and we really don't care. Like, oh, they just they just sit there and they look poo faced, and it it's horrible. There was a few Disney hardcore fans like myself. There was two girls, and they were like decked out with the ears and the scar. And I wish we had more of that here, but we don't. Over in the States, there's a lot more of that than there is here. Here, people just view Disney as something for kids, and that's it, which it is a shame. Because I bet you half of the parents there do love Disney. They're just too scared to admit it, which makes me even sadder. And they admit it through their children, which makes me sad. Because it's like, hey, if you like Disney, you should dress up too. You're just as entitled to like Disney as much as anyone else is. But other than that, it was great and I loved the show. I did a little bit of shopping and I told you beforehand I did a little bit of shopping. So I thought I'd just give you like a mini haul of what I got. Wait, this tea is not the part of the haul. Mm. And yes, I was sitting on the floor. But here's my little haul. So the first thing I got, I popped into Lush, of course. And I got this, I cannot read this through my camera. I think this is the Melting Marsh, Melting Marshmallow Moments. This used to be a bath melt and it used to be a lot bigger. It used to be a lot different but they've kind of changed the style of it and I just want to give this one a try. I think this is more of a, a bath oil than a bath melt. And then I got the Razzle Dazzle Bath oil because I've never tried it. So I got those two. Popped into Primark and I got this lovely Beauty and the Beast top. It's got bell on it, it's got the beast on it, it's got the wardrobe and it's got pots and I think it pots, Missy's pots and chipped in there. I just thought it was lovely and um, I've seen people in Primark getting it before and it's got the rose there which is really nice. I just thought it'd be really nice to wear when the live action of Beauty and the Beast comes out. I don't know when I'll get to see it, but I thought it'd be really nice. My mum kindly got me this as a present. I did get other things like chokers, a hat. Um, what else did I get? Chokers, a hat. I got Disney tights. But most of the things I got today, my mum bought me. The only thing I bought myself was my Lush stuff because it's all a part of my birthday. My mum gave me that top and didn't hold on to it as part of my birthday because she knew I wanted to wear it when I go and see the live action of Beauty and the Beast. So everything was a part of my birthday. And don't worry if you're really curious, I will be doing a what I got for my birthday video because I didn't do what I got for my Christmas video because I, I like to alternate them. I don't want to do what I got for my Christmas and what I got for my birthday because I think that's too much. 
But I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and there'll probably be plenty of other vlogs in the future no doubt. It's only March and I've already done three this year or maybe more, I've lost count. But I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys are having an awesome night and I'll talk to you later in the next vlog series. Bye guys!